Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Rifle Skill Guide. And today I'm going to be telling you guys how easy it is to level up the rifle skill and then give you my opinion on the importance of starting with a character with a high rifle skill um, and then how viable the rifle skill is in game. Okay, so we're going to look at how viable it is to start a character with, with a high rifle skill, and then we're going to look at how easy is it to level up your rifle skill in-game. Now, when it comes to rifles, as it says here in your um, meta metabolism screen, rifles um, is a skill which in indicates how familiar you are with rifles of any type, both firing them and maintain maintaining or fixing them, Okay is raised by shooting players and NPCs with rifles and crossbows. Okay, so we've got a crossbow with us, so that we can look at that as well. And then, of course, it influences faster reload time, which is very, very important because these days you have to load a magazine, you know, one at a time. So it's going to affect the speed at which you, let's say you've got three clips. It's going to uh, influence how fast you reload the next magazine. So if you're fighting a guy with no rifle skill, and you've got an advanced rifle skill, you know, and you guys have got exactly the same gun, and both of you have got three clips, then you are going to be able to reload your gun much quicker than him, you know, which is pro possibly going to um, win you the fight. The second one is faster change from position to position, reading and aiming, okay, um, which is also important, but not that important. The biggest factor with your rifle skill is your recoil. Okay, the next one is recoil, and I'm going to show the recoil to you. For me personally, that is the most important skill when it comes to rifles. That's the thing that's going to help you the most. And then shooting accuracy with rifles, of course. Okay, so we're starting a character with no rifle skill, as always. Now, imagine there's a player right there, okay, right there by the tree. Now, look at our recoil, okay, if we've got no rifle skill. So the player is there and we want to open up on him. Okay, so right from the start, you can see our garden lifts heavily. So it takes, re it takes um, a massive amount of control pulling down your mouse, okay, and... If your gun is shooting up in the air right from the start, then that player is, of course, going to have a lot of time to get away, okay? And then, of course, I, we probably shot through the whole magazine, okay? So the other thing is reload time. So we can just look how, how fast we reload one magazine, or there's not a normal magazine. It's a RPK magazine, but this is the speed at which we re. re we reload it, so some of you can time it if you want to. Okay, so that's 30 bullets. So we got the time on that, and we'll test that. We'll test the RPK again, okay, with um, the next character, which will have an advanced rifle skill. Now, let's look with no rifle skill. How proficient are you with a crafted crossbow, okay? So we're going to just press R to reload a normal crossbow. Okay, as you can see, it takes a little bit of time. So if we want to kill a puppet, okay, let's let's spawn in. A, we always go for the muscle. Okay, so civilian. There we go. So here we've got got a crossbow. We can shoot him because we can aim with it. Okay, that's quite a nice a bit amount of damage. Okay, quite a nice bit amount of damage. So the only negative thing about it is the speed of it, okay? So we're going to spawn in a little bit of a tougher puppet here. So let's spawn in. Let's just go for the military one. Military armored, okay? So we're going to shoot him in the chest. 
Okay, and now we're gonna reload while we're running, and it does take stamina to reload it, guys. Okay, now we can reload it again. So taking on one puppet, guys, is really not a problem. Okay, and it's quite powerful. Now, so with no rifle skill, you can still um, use improvised crossbow fairly easily. Okay, but the powerful boy is the Blackhawk crossbow. Okay, and this is going to take a bit of skill to use. Okay, so we're going to... Um, Let's just check here if we put these wooden ones in here. Okay. Let's reload it. Okay, so we're going to load the best carbon arrow that you can load. And again, not a major deal, but when you run out of stamina, let's say you're running constantly and then you hit a the puppet, then of course it's going to be a problem. Okay, so it took three shots last time to kill this puppet, but with these bolts... Okay. Still takes about three arrows, guys, but definitely the speed. Okay. Definitely the speed is a factor here. And of course, if we're looking at distance, this crossbow can shoot a lot further. Now, that's just because we don't have a lot of stamina left. Stamina is also always going to play a very big role with a crossbow. So if we aim at that tree, okay. The crossbow is going to travel quite a distance. But this crossbow is not going to travel that far. Okay? You guys can't really see, uh, see how far it's going, but I can shoot it like this. Okay? The, the, this crossbow can hit the target quite easily at about 200 meters, but the black horse is going to hit the target at 300 meters quite easily. Okay, so now we, we've seen that. Now, how, to level up your rifle skill is extremely easy, guys. Any server that you can have events on is extremely easy. So you can go into your events and just kill everyone constantly, okay? And with, with the servers, with my servers that I play on, I get not only to advanced, I get to like advanced plus from no rifle skill. I never start a character with, with a rifle skill. And I get to advance plus within a week or two, okay? Just doing about three events a day, randomly, just to spend some time with the community, okay? So it's not a grind to level up your rifle skill. And you don't even have to do events. You can just go into very populated areas. But again, in events, you don't pay for your ammunition. You don't pay for your gun. So you can level up rifles right at the start of the game. Okay, the first second you drop into the map. If there's players online, you can start an event, okay, and they join the event with you. You get the you get the gun for free, you get the ammo for free, and you just kill everyone and you gain fame and you gain skill points in rifles. And it levels up very, very quickly. So for me, the benefit of starting a character with advanced rifles is of course gonna help you a little bit in the beginning of the game, but you know, mid game and end game, you know, depending on how long it is to the next wipe of the server, um, I would give starting with the rifle skill, I'd give it a two out of 10, guys. Not really worth it for me whatsoever. And then when it comes to leveling up rifles in game, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's extremely easy to level up your rifle skill in game and just not something I'm really willing to. Um, put any points into okay so let's just see what our rifle skill is at the moment and we're just going to reload this magazine okay our rifle skill is at a thousand two hundred guys on our way to basic okay and we didn't we shot a few puppets <laughs> with a crossbow okay now if we um spawn in this uh, puppet
Okay, how much ammo have we got? How much how much ammo have we got left? Shift R. We've got about five rounds left. We just loaded 30 rounds, guys. The gun can take 75 rounds, but we just loaded 30 rounds. Okay, and our rifle skill is at 7,000. Okay, so with one magazine, you can level up your rifle skill to um, almost basic. Okay, so with two magazines, you're going to hit basic, you're going to get to medium. And the thing is, if you join an event, all your rounds are going to give you this amount of skill points. Um, and it's going to give you fame. Like I've got fame right there at the top, guys. I've gained 137 fame. Okay. So, I mean, I can get to basic in, even if I go into the big city, I can get to basic rifles with two magazines, even if I don't join events, but I always join events. That's why I get to advanced plus rifles really, really fast. But even if I didn't go into events, I can get to advanced rifles in... Five minutes in the big city, okay? So it will take me 15 minutes to get to medium, and it will take me about eight hours to get to advanced, okay? If I don't do events at all. But guys, the, the very, very easy way is to just join events. So that's basically it, okay? Shoot puppets, shoot players, do events. If you want to know how to do events, you go to events, and the death matches, okay? You just do death matches. Not the hunting ground, not the MMA. You do these death matches. My favorite is Mountain Glade, which is a nice ranged death match in the snow. And then a lot of people like um, uh, Perkno, that you can, it's a very small city, constant action. You know, you can be killing people constantly. This is a tactical map for me. This is just a Hail Mary map for me where you're going to be seeing another player constantly, being able to shoot him. And every event takes 10 minutes, guys. So it's 10 minutes of just shooting other players. And like I say, usually takes me about a week of casual playing to get to advanced rifles. And then it probably takes me another week to get to advanced plus. Okay? So very, very easy. So let's see what's the benefits of a character with, um, how does it affect your skill if you've got a character with advanced rifles. Okay, right, guys, here we are with exactly the same gear, okay? But this time we took a character with advanced rifles, okay? So right off the bat, let's just see how quickly we load a magazine now, since that takes quite a bit of time, okay? So we're going to load this dry magazine again. Okay, <laughs> hopefully there you guys can see a massive, massive difference. It does every, everything extremely fast, which will help you in a fight or will just save you a ton of time, okay, in game. Okay, so now let's load this magazine. And now let's look again, again, guys, did you see that? If you guys didn't see that, look at how long it takes us to reload our rifle. A dry magazine. <laughs> very, very quickly. Okay, same thing. There's a player there. We want to shoot him. How's he going to feel? Okay, so we still have recoil, guys, but we're not completely out of control. Okay. The rifle still goes up, but not like last time. It went like right above the trees. This time it just went up to there. So that's that's very easy to correct. As soon as you start firing the rifle, you just pull it back a little bit. Okay? You test it for yourself. When I start shooting this rifle that I want to use, it shoots up to about there. And you can test that in the events where you level up your rifle skill. Okay? You can test all the rifles in the, in the death matches. Okay? So you start firing, you shoot, goes about up till there. So as soon as you shoot, you know you have to correct it. And then you just have to fight a bit with the sideways recoil, okay? But 
again, the recoil is a massive thing for me. And it, of course, I'm showing you the AK, guys, because the AK has some of the worst recoil in the game. But when you start using SMGs and, you know, VSSs, um, you know, and guns like that. So when it comes to an SMG, very good recoil control. With advanced rifles, you won't even feel the recoil. With an, a UMP, even better. With a VSS, you know, even, you know, even better. Um, and then uh, ARs are, you know, um, a little bit worse. And then the AK is the worst. Okay, now let's see what you can do with the crossbow um, with an advanced rifle skill. So you can see the reloading is much faster, guys. You don't have to run or you don't have to run across the map. And of course, we can just hip firing. Okay, and when it comes to this, the black orc. Again, much, much, much faster, guys. And of course, you can put sides on the black orc. Okay? Much, much, much faster. There is still a little bit of time in it. But definitely much, much, much faster. But we do struggle. A stamina still plays a role. Okay. Stamina still plays a role. So that's about it, guys. It's your choice. Okay. And the rifle skill has got benef has got really good benefits, especially when it comes to rifles. Um but when it comes to leveling it up at the starting screen, like when you start your character. Yeah, I just won't do it. It is your choice because you can have a fantastic, like if you start with advanced rifles you and you can get a gun quickly in a cargo drop, you know, or you can loot guns quickly. Of course, it's going to give you some kind of advantage, but leveling it up in game is just way too easy for me because of the death matches. And even if they remove the death matches, even if something weird happens to the game in the future, I'd still level it up in-game because I can craft a crossbow quite easily. I can get feathers quite easily. So I can level it up with a crossbow until I'm happy with it. And then I can start using a rifle. Okay? But share your thoughts with me down in the comments below. That's why we're doing these videos one at a time. Okay? Share your ideas. Tell me what you agree with. Tell me what you don't agree with. But at the end of the day... It's very easy to level up your rifle skill. So I definitely give it a 2 out of 10, okay? For me personally, I'll give it a 0 out of 10. I'll never start with the character. Um, you know, up to this point, as we go into 0 0.7 update. Um, you know, but if you've got some good reasons for starting a character with advanced rifles instead of, instead of putting it into something else, you know, that takes way longer to level up, like melee weapons, or archery, you know, let me know down in the comments below, guys. Hope you have a great day, and see you tomorrow, where we're going to finish the um, the strength, you know, all the skills in your strength attribute. We're going to do handguns, which I feel will be fairly quickly, and then I'll just give you guys a breakdown, you know, of the strength attribute itself, and then what I think about all the skills after everything we've we've learned. Hope you guys have a great day. See you tomorrow. Cheers.